Hi guys, Gus here. Welcome back to Fire TV, and uh, very excited to be here and playing stuff for you from uh, my album Brand New Revolution. And today we're gonna be looking at the title track, Brand New Revolution. Um, gonna talk a little bit about the riffs and the techniques, and uh, elaborate a little bit on the techniques that I used on the solo, and hopefully give you give you some ideas of. Uh, how you can develop your own uh, lead ideas uh, based on these techniques. So um, without further ado, let's go. So main riff. It's based uh, on A, it's just power chords basically. And then D sharp. Flat fifth, the evil tritone. Down G. And then here's the tricky part. You just go back, you, you actually hit a D chord. And you do a little bend here. The second time around, you do that little bend on the C chord. Don't worry about sounding too dissonant, you know. Uh, it's kind of cool to sound a little bit out of key on this one. That's what gives it its, its flavor, if you like. Right. Uh, on to the main um, verse. I'm playing thing, I'm actually using artificial harmonics. This is a pretty interesting technique, in case you haven't heard it. Uh, what an artificial harmonic is, basically you just, with the natural harmonics on the fretboard, like for example, the 12th fret, 7th, 5th, and so on. But if you want to hit some other notes and then make harmonics out of them, you basically just hit the note and then you, you uh, pluck a harmonic 12 frets exactly above that fret. So, for example, basically I'm doing this little um, arpeggiated kind of sequence, which is like this. Okay, so what that is, basically, I'm hitting an A minor chord here. And I'm using a technique, another technique here, that I've talked about it before in some other lessons, which is called Common Fingers. My common finger here is the third finger. Just move down the first and second finger uh, a fret. And then basically what I'm doing is I'm plucking harmonics here 12 frets above each note. The solo part incorporates uh, a lot of different tapping techniques, um, which I'd like to discuss here today, and then hopefully uh, that'll give you some ideas to be creative with your, uh, and make, come up with your own licks. So the opening lick is basically a, a minor, um, I don't know what, it, what to call this, like an A minor pentatonic scale, and it involves string skipping and, um, and tapping. So it's like, it goes into groups of four, so. So that's the main pattern here. Slowly for that, for you that is. Basically, it's something that I use quite often, which is this kind of like. Based off A minor pentatonic. So basically I'm just breaking that down. I'm just hammer on. So it's one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. That's the pattern. Um, and then once I do the first four notes, then I start again. I tap back and I start one note higher. And then. So that idea, that tapping idea is an interesting idea in itself. Um, 
as a sequence. So you can do all kinds of stuff like that. I use it. You know, you can be creative with that. You can uh, not only do stuff that inco incorporates uh, stringscaping, but it could be whatever, you know? Yeah, that's basically the, the, the first opening lick there for the solo, and then it goes on to a descending lick, which like... <laughs> Play that slow for you. So basically, what I'm doing is just going down the A minor scale, and it's this little lick, which is cool. And then when the when the chords change to D, I do a little. Uh, I don't know what that scale is. It's probably like a E a Phrygian kind of scale with some chromatic passages, that's what I would call it. Um, and then to finish it off, I build it up again here on the E Phrygian major scale. And then basically end with a diminished lick. Here. And then I do a wider stretch here. That's the one. Slowly again. So, in conclusion, that's Brand New Revolution for you. We discussed, we went over through a lot of parts, rhythm stuff, um, a lot of lead techniques, particularly tapping on this one. Uh, I hope you find it useful. Uh, I hope it gives you some inspiration to go ahead and create your own cool stuff and uh, don't forget to subscribe here and keep checking back because we're gonna um, talk about some more cool stuff coming up. So we'll be seeing you very very soon.